What's up, guys? Zach Evanish here at the Underground. Let's lower the music. Getting ready for the Saturday morning crew. I want to take you through a little program design because next week we are launching the online Underground Strength and Sports Performance course. That's going to be basically your ticket to getting to the Underground to do the Level 1 cert. So let me show you what we've got here on the board. We use a system called Wattify. I take them through a warm-up, not what you see up here. The warm-up is different on most days, and then there's certain aspects of certain exercises, whether it's calisthenics, one-arm kettlebell carries, that we consistently do. But I want to teach you how we have middle school, high school, college athletes, and adults in the same group, and how we adjust for those that have made it this far with regards to programming. This is what I call basically like level three. So we have level one, introductory training, level two, intermediate training, and then we've got level three. So look how we break it down. After the athletes are warmed up, we've got sumo deadlifts and jump training. Jump training will be box jumps, broad jumps. We've got hurdles over here, boxes everywhere, hurdles. So a lot of different jumps. We use the conjugate system to mix up the uh, exercise variety. So sumo deadlift with jumps. Now, you're not on a sumo deadlift unless you're in high school, and not all high school athletes are ready for a barbell sumo deadlift. So what we'll do is have them do a kettlebell variation, single or double kettlebells. And instead of five by three, we're just gonna double it, five by six. So everybody in the gym is gonna be deadlifting, but they're on a deadlift that's suited better for their level of physical preparation. When they're done with those two exercises, we go to trunk stability, anti-rotation, some shoulder health with band work. We sneak that stuff in throughout the workout, so we usually get five rounds of that. Up next, we've got some heavier dumbbell benching for four sets of six, and any rear delt for four by 12. Rear delts would be bent over flies, chest supported rear delt, band face pulls, band pull parts, uh, scarecrow on the ring. So again, we use a lot of variety. A newer athlete will have less variety. An intermediate athlete might get two different options, face pulls and or pull parts. And then an advanced athlete might do, you know, a different rear delt exercise every set. Then we go into something for a little bit of uh, heavier, or we could go lighter and make it power, sandball, shouldering, three sets of three on each side. That's three sets of six. So that's a standalone exercise. We might have an athlete couple it with some jump training. And then I'm gonna show you what we have for a finisher here. We've got sleds, battle ropes for 50 reps, and any kind of carry. You can see we've got a lot of different sleds. Carries are going to be mixed up. They might be a heavy med ball carry, might be an offset carry. If you guys have ever seen any of our YouTube videos or my Encyclopedia of Underground Strength or any of my training courses, we do a lot of different carries. And why do we do that finisher? Athletes need work capacity. Athletes need work capacity to not just uh, enhance their ability to recover, but to improve their capability to do work. So you've got uh, football season coming up, middle of August, those first two weeks are brutal. If you're out of shape, you're gonna get destroyed. So don't get so carried away with, oh, we only need to train for three to four seconds, that's what a play lasts. We do that, but you're also going to need that general physical preparation because it's going to make them ready for practice. It's going to make them durable. We basically don't want athletes that are strong and useless. We want strong, explosive, agile, AKA athletic. We want to put muscle on them. We want to make them durable, not just physically, but also mentally. So that's just an inside look into a Saturday morning training. They'll probably also finish with a very hard, aggressive 400 meter run. And other things you don't see like in this warm up, they're going to be doing exercises to prepare. So they'll be doing back extensions on the sore necks or the elite back extension. They'll be doing some standing leg curls. They'll be doing lunges of different types. So we're prepping the body, and we basically have been doing that for a long time, but we've increased the repetitions on them very much like what Matt Wenning recommends. And um, my goal is 
I did a seminar with Matt last summer or last September. I'm going to take those recordings and add them as a bonus for those of you that sign up for the online underground strength and sport performance course. I basically want to make coaches great. Not good, but great. I'll tell you why. Training athletes has gotten more complicated. You have to understand the simplicity behind it. That's the irony. But there's just all of these unique and crazy weak points that they have that make it actually hard to do basic stuff with them. You have to build them up. That's what we teach you. Underground strength and sport performance course coming in hot. Got the sunblock on, ready for my son's baseball game. Boom. Any questions, guys, email us, undergroundstrengthcoach at gmail.com. Peace.